In this video, we'll discuss what is aphasia and provide examples of how to most effectively communicate with your family member with aphasia. What is aphasia? Aphasia is an acquired language disorder. It is estimated that there are 180,000 new cases of aphasia per year in the United States. The National Institute of Deafness and Other Communication Disorders estimates that approximately 1 million people, or 1 in 250 in the United States today, are living with aphasia. Some common causes of aphasia are stroke, traumatic brain injury, brain tumors, surgery or infections, and progressive neurological diseases such as dementia. What is Wernicke's aphasia? Wernicke's aphasia is generally characterized by an individual being able to produce connected speech and using sentence structure that is relatively intact but lacks meaning. People with Wernicke's aphasia typically also have impaired language comprehension and poor repetition of words or phrases. We'll use this picture for reference in the next examples. A person with Wernicke's aphasia may look and sound like the following. Tell me what's happening in this picture. Well, there's the cry fly there, and the Kragen Leggen, and he's got the Kai fly by the, the wool, by the, by the dry fly. You know the dry fly? And down by the seesaw, there's the right there, and he goes, whoa ho ho. And down by the whoa ho ho is the fly. And you know the fly down by the dry fly, by the, by the bee lie? And the chi fly, and, and the bomb, and the yes, and right there is the, is the colo and the, and the me. Thank you. Okay. As you can see, a person with Wernicke's aphasia may be able to speak freely. However, their speech may lack meaning. People with Wernicke's aphasia may have difficulty accurately responding to simple questions. Okay. Um, do you have blonde hair? Yes, by the my. Do you have blue hair? Yes, I feel nice. Are we outside? Um, the plot is nice. Are we at the library? That is very good. That is very good by the fly. Are we at the hospital? You know, the fly, it's, it's by the pipe and it's, it's nice, it's nice. Okay. Um, do you eat eggs before you cook them? Thank you. That is, that is flice. That is, that is flice. Okay. Um, is a mouse smaller than a lion? Fly by, drive by, and the fly, and he goes by the Kragen and the flying. As seen in the video, Individuals with Wernicke's aphasia may have difficulty accurately responding to questions. People with Wernicke's aphasia may also have difficulty participating in conversations. Um, where are you from? The kinder by the plume, and the plume, it's very nice. Hmm. Where, where do you live? Well, it's very nice, and it's down there by the drive, and that's where it is by the kind. Okay. Um, what are some of your hobbies? Well, the climb, it's by the plume, and the plime, it's very nice, thank you. Do you have a family? Well, thank you. It's kind by the car line, the car line. It's crying. These videos highlight how a person with Wernicke's aphasia may communicate. They may seem very confident in what they are saying, however, their responses do not always align with what is being asked of them or is out of context for what is being asked. As you heard, the patient is speaking freely, but they are using a mix of real words, made up words, mixed up sounds, or unrelated words. An individual with Wernicke's aphasia may not be aware of their communication difficulties. People with Wernicke's aphasia may have difficulty understanding language based on the severity of their diagnosis. For example, the following task may be challenging for a person with aphasia. Understanding yes-no questions, following directions, participating in conversations, or comprehending stories and lectures. The overall goal is to increase communication. This can include spoken language and communication via actions and pictures. Here are some tips to help you communicate with your loved one. Use simple and direct phrases. Limit distractions, only one person talking at a time, and make sure to turn off the TV or close the door. Ask yes or no questions, or provide two choices. Use gestures, pictures, and or objects when communicating to ensure comprehension. 
Encourage your loved one to use gestures, objects, or pictures to communicate with you. Be patient. Encourage your loved one to keep trying to communicate, even if it's frustrating. Make sure not to assume that there is 100% comprehension, and make sure not to talk over them. It is anticipated that communication will improve over time as you learn how to most effectively interact with them. Thank you for watching this video about aphasia. We hope you find this information helpful as you learn how to help your loved one through this challenging time. If you have any questions or would like further information or resources, please be sure to talk with your speech language pathologist, doctor, or rehab educator.